Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's another chick card for our Stamp on the Go. Uh, again, very simple. We're going to stamp our chick with, um, I don't know where I put a, a sample, but it's no, not important. Here's the, we're going to learn as we go. Here's the little chick that I stamp with stays on. And we're going to color it with Daffodil Delight again, just like last week. So let's color that very quick. And it's no right and wrong when it comes to watercolor. You can add as much as you want, as little as you want. Again, watercolor, it's not friendly on regular cardstock. I suggest that you use um, shimmer cardstock like we're using today, or I get a dot there I don't like, or watercolor paper. And look, I'm not even being careful because we're going to cut this one today. So here we go. And we don't need the feet, so we don't have to worry about the feet. Then uh, I got Cajun Craze, the same than last week because it's video back to back. Now what we're going to let that dry before we cut it. It's going to be easier. Again, it's on the note card. And this time I'm using the Wildflower Feel from uh, Celebration. I'm using this print. And this is cut at three and three quarter by three and a quarter. Three and three quarter by, um, wait a minute, three and one quarter by four and three quarter, because our note card, it is a five by three and a half. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm using the stamp set Easter lamb. And the little chick, it's from um, Honeycomb Happiness, and this is from the Celebrations uh, catalog. Only available, that one it's only available the chick till uh, March 31st. Now this one here come in a, just one stamp like this. Well, I got a video to show you that most of the time when I get warts with an image, what I do before I mount them, I cut the warts separately so then I don't have to use them together. So now I got Happy Easter here. And I'm going to put my Happy Easter right here. Voila. And I use stays on because that was right here. And why not? Now our chicks should be uh, cut. But don't run. Well, you know what? Uh, cut. I mean dry. But it's not quite dry. We're going to use our large oval. And that uh, DSP I'm using, it's perfectly artistic, and that is in the celebration, but only available till February 15th. But you can use other paper, whatever suits you. So this is my egg. See how simple this was? Just zigzag it. Now let's cut our chicken. And like I said, we don't need the feet. Because the bottom, it's going to be in the um, egg. I don't want the tail neither. And you're going to understand why I didn't want the tail. We're going to just cut this. And if you watch me cut, most of the time, I don't move my scissors. What I move, it's the paper. Why do I do that? It's because it gives less of the scissors mark. So most of the time, what I move, it is the paper. It is not the scissors. Many people say, how do you cut all those objects or whatever? Well, now you know. So now we get this. And we're going to take the bottom of the head there. Put snail on this. Put that on top of the chicken. So now you see why I didn't want the tail there, right? because the tail would come on the side of the head. Now I'm going to use um, two dimensional. Put that in the back of the chick. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. 
I'm going to put that right here on the side. Now I'm going to take one more dimensional, put it in the back of the X. I want to make sure it was on the right way. Yes. Put that right there. Oops. And put it right there. So look, she's cracking up for Easter. This is it, my friend. Very simple. The designer Siri paper do all your background. You don't have much to do. And you get a quick and an easy card for Easter. Thank you. And again, for all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. And I would be more than happy to uh, be your demonstrator. Till next time, happy stamping, my friends.